Hey everyone, Merrick here, and this is The Low Road, and it's a new adventure game! Hooray! Also, there are absolutely fuck all for audio controls, so music is here, and however loud it is, it is. So we're gonna see if we get, you know, copyright claimed because of the music, and if we do, this might be a really short series. If we don't, hooray! New game! Just enjoying this song, it's actually really good. Okay, move on. Pembroke Motors HQ. Let me tell you something I wish somebody had told me on my first day. Being a spy is nothing like you see on TV. Showdowns in exotic locales, death-defying car chases, seemingly limitless food and beverage per diems. Uh-uh. Those days are over. What we deal with is the collection and manipulation of information plain and simple. And thanks to the wonders of telephone communication, we don't even have to leave our desks anymore. Is it fun? Not really. Does it pay well? Well, that depends on how long you've been here. But listen, if you keep your head down and do what's asked of you, 15, 20 years down the line, oh. you could have a nice looking corner office just like this one. Holy shit. Heated underground parking, too. <laughs> Not too shabby, is it? Yes. Um. Sounds okay. Yeah, I'm not too bowled over by you either, but let's try to make the best of it. Since it's your first day, let's see what they taught you in the academy. Nothing. The woman we're about to call is Lacey Mendoza. She's a production manager at our latest competitor, Rev Inc. Our top engineer, a fellow by the name of Sebastian Cartwright, was working on a top secret project when he was abducted along with his plans. We're beginning to think that Cartwright might be involved in whatever they're doing over there at Rev, and possibly against his will. Ooh. There's three things I'm going to need you to find out. One, where this test facility is located. Two, what's the easiest point of entry. And three, whether or not they have Sebastian. I pulled all the information I could on Lacey and compiled it in this scrapbook. It's not much, but it might help you gild the lily. Any questions? Do I have any bananas? Tell me more about Sebastian. Brilliant engineer bit of an eccentric has a Jones for clean energy whatever that is okay um. what's Rev Inc no idea there's nothing on the books to prove it exists my guess is that it's just a front for one of the big boys interesting All right. how do I use the scrapbook it's a scrapbook you turn the pages with your hands and look through it with your eyes. Then your eyes take what they see to your brain and your brain uses that to come up with ideas. Though maybe not in your case. I meant more as a poli- You know what? I like you. You're snarky. I like your old picture too. Any advice? Get her to trust you. Pretend to be someone from her past. Someone she cares for but hasn't kept in touch with. Uh, old classmate, former co-worker, that sort of thing. Whatever you do, don't pretend to be a loan manager. You won't make it past hello. Enough talk. Let's call her up. All right. So who's going to be Cagney and who's going to be Lacey? This is an important mission, so make it count. Ooh, I like this. Wait, I don't get to read this yet? Bliss and blessings onto you and yours. This is Lacey. Who's speaking? Um... Only the best roommate you've ever had. Clara? You sound really different. <clears throat> Sorry. 
sorry about that. Must have gotten something stuck in my throat. There, all better now. Now you sound even less like Clara. How about now? You're not with Docilio, are you? Who's Docilio? Never mind. We've just had a lot of outside interference lately, and we need to be extra careful about who we speak to. So if you really are Clara, I'm gonna need some proof. Why don't we start with you telling me the address of our old apartment? Um, National Housing Bureau. Oh, crap. 1940. Carver Hall. She said old apartment, though, right? Oh, what? 30, 376. 376 University Ave. Actually, that was the address for my college dormitory. How could you possibly know that? Whoops. I remember everything. You must have told me at some point. Well, if you remember everything, then you should remember the address that we lived at for four years together. What was it? Oh, shit. I'm blowing it. That's five years. That's four years. Oh. 42 Overlook Terrace. Wow, it really is yeah. you. But how on earth did you get this number? Um. Is it on her patent application? Do we even have that? Not really. Uh, your ex gave your it to me. Your ex gave it to me. He did? How did he... What did he say? Uh... Well, he's calling him evil. There we go. He says that he's ready to change. Well, it's a little too late for that, isn't it? Yeah. No, of course it is. I mean, I, I've moved on. I have a new job, a new life. I even have a new boyfriend. His name is Sebastian, and he's a brilliant inventor who loves me very much. Well, she has Sebastian. Looks like you found her Achilles heel. Keep pressing down on it. Dear Rita, two weeks ago our daughter Lacey abandoned her lovely fiancé at the altar. Will there be a man who promised her the world? She won't explain why other than that she didn't agree. Um... He forgives you. I spoke you. with him yesterday and he forgives you for what you did to him. Forgives me? <laughs> oh, that's rich. How about all those poor people whose work he helped destroy? Does he forgive them too? Leaving him at the altar was the best decision I've ever made. Mm -hmm. You can tell him I'm in a good relationship now with someone who wants to help the world move forward, not backwards. And while you're at it, tell him to stop using my idiot friends to do his dirty work. Oop, I blew it there. Next time, you might want to take a closer look at the case file before stepping into it like that. What are you talking about? Well, you got one out of three. Not terrible for a first try. Who knows? Maybe in a few years you'll be ready to mend the phones for real. Why don't you oh. take a coffee break and then get started on some light clerical work? I think that's more your speed. Oh, come on. I did good! Nice haircut! Better times. Have you ever thought about growing it back? Every single day. So, what should I call you? Barney? Mr. Turner? Folks around here call me Turn. Does that mean they're going to start calling me Kova? No. That wouldn't All be a right. bad name. Good talk. <laughs> hey, I did pretty good. When's our next case? We don't have a next case. That phone call was a taste of what you might get to do in a few years. After you pay your dues. Anything I can do to help out? We're on standby till Penderbrook gives us our next assignment. You can go introduce yourself to the rest of the team if you want. I, I don't care. All right, later. I'm gonna go get some coffee. Suit yourself. 
This is a pretty cool ass game. Okay, that takes me to Not much competition in this employee of the month game, is there? Not as long as I'm around. That's pretty funny. So I think the only way we move is by clicking. Yeah. All right. I guess let's go. That was interesting. I like the, the mechanic of reading these little articles and trying to guess what the best response is. I guess I could have done a better job by reading it more clearly and being like, oh, they're into green tech. But you know Looks me. Looks like I'll need a key card to get this thing to work. Looks like I'll need yeah. a key card to get like this thing to work. Bit. Ah, I clicked off the game, no. It is made with Unity, so it has just Unity quirks. Outside Intelligence is looking to start a competitive Jai Alai team to play against the Bellows Bloodhounds. I think what the you heck mean. Heck is Jai Alai? It's Highlai. It's pronounced Highlai. Yep, oh, see, told you. What the heck is Highlai? If you don't even know what it is, you're not welcome on the team. That's not very nice. Highlai is a game where you have a solid ball that you fling at the walls and at each other at nine million miles an hour. And it's very dangerous, but in a very exciting sport to watch. Safety notices, but I don't think I would ever watch. policies. Not much about this place seems to spell adventure. Well, I mean, that guy has a telephone attacking him, so that's pretty adventurous. Alright, moving on. Who was saying that? Sure are a lot of people in there. About 50 at least. Ugh, I can't believe that this is what espionage has become. Telephone research. Well, telemarketing is really important. Take a long, hard look, Numi. If you really apply yourself, one day you too could be in there, answering phones and trying not to cry. Mm. Well, at least they have a snack machine in there. No, wait. It only serves coffee. An XX machine. I can't believe they make them pay for coffee. No more? I'm gonna have to find a way to get rid of all these people if I'm ever gonna work in the field. I'm gonna have to find a way oh, to get rid of there we go. all that's these the people end. if I'm ever gonna work in the field. What's that? <laughs> oh, that's my inventory. I love that it's like a card catalog box. Oh, you must be. It's the image I want, and I'm sad. That desk's a little tall, isn't it? It's meant for standing. Why would anyone want to stand when they could sit? You'll understand when you're older. Alright, whatever, Highlight. It's kind of chilly in here. Might want to turn down the AC. <laughs> you might want to leave well enough alone. That was presumptuous to tell him what to do with his air conditioning. Roaming the halls already, are we? Turns out I could have a break. Well, now I have to commit three of my best agents to undoing the damage you've done with that phone call. I tried my best. Oh, I'm sure you did. But to keep this office running as smoothly as possible, perhaps you'll consider making this break a permanent one. You want me to quit? Quit, step down, early retirement without benefits. Why get hung up on titles? All that matters is that you're happy. Why don't you think about it and get back to me? Uh, who are you? Who are you? Thornton Penderbrook, Office Manager, Division of Outside Intelligence, Air Apparent to Penderbrook Motors, International Traveler, Raconteur, and Bon Vivant. Oh, well, my name's Numi. Mm. You're kind of a douche. Can I have the code for the outbound research division? The bullpen for the telephone division falls under Mr. Turner's domain, and he prefers to um, keep that to himself. My only dealings with him is through the company mail system. Turn doesn't trust you. It's my understanding that Mr. Turner lost his government position due to information about him being leaked. Hmm. 
ever since then, he's been very <laughs> particular about office protocols. Cool. I'd like to do a field mission. A field mission? <laughs> oh, 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 that's right. Most of our work is handled over the phone these days. We only have one agent in the field. There's no need for any more. But how do you is get there a... any situation where I could work in the field? For that to happen, every single agent in this office would have to become indisposed. So it is possible then. If that kind of wild optimism is what you need to continue your interminable existence, far be it from me to tell you otherwise. I should get back to work. Before you do, let me ask you a question. Have you ever taken the time to stroll the docile woods? Are... are you asking me out on a date? Ha! Oh, ho! 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 You... you think I'd ask a lowly assistant out on a date? Perish the thought! If you're that intent on taking a shortcut up the corporate ladder, you might find more success reaching for one of the lower rungs. I think Agent Horace might be available. You're disgusting. Off you go. Yeah, I'm pretty tired of your bullshit, dude. Looks like these mail slots connect to the bullpen on the other side. Ah, ah, ah. All inter-agent communication must be approved by yours truly. You're a turd. I don't like it. Out of order. Guess I'll have to hold it. I don't think it's out of order. I think the, the sign is a lie, and I should be able to steal that sign, put it in my pocket, and use it for later like any proper adventure game would let me do. That font's pretty hard to read. <laughs> it's not a font, it's a foreign film from Japan. Well, yeah, I knew that. The Japanese language also has fonts, and uh, this one's pretty hard to read. Good movie? Utterly breathtaking. It's almost 20 years old and still ahead of its time. I'd love to see it. Well, it's very hard to get a hold of. Have to be in the right circles, which you're obviously not. God, that guy is just such an insufferable douchebag. Oh! Oh, man, I want to punch him in the nose. Right in the nose. Ooh, I'm on the roof. So I need to poison all of the employees so that, so that I can be the only one to go out in the field. I'm, I'm deflowering, God, deflowering, defeathering a, a seagull. Whoa there! You get any reason to be fiddling with that contraption? Not really. Then don't. Damn it. Why well, they got all this security up here? Now I gotta go talk to this jagass. I need to sabotage that. Ugh, stairs. Real stair like. Yo, what's up? Well, there's a new site in an old place. Name's Horace. Horace Hayes. Hi, I'm Numi. Hey, Numi. Numi, Numi, Numi. Another name I'm gonna have to learn to forget. What do you mean? Let me guess. New kid. Fresh out of the academy, ready to travel the world and set it on fire. Problem is, Penderbrook's only got room for one field agent, and you're looking at him. I have a lot to offer. Oh, I'm sure you do. But once you realize all you're going to be doing is answering phones and ordering lunches, you'll go somewhere else, just like the rest. Why don't I save you some time? The Bellows Agency just opened an outfit across town and are looking to poach as many of our agents as they can. Why don't you give her a call? Head off to greener pastures. Interesting. Two years experience. Huh. Wonder if he gets commission for recruiting me. Interesting. 
seagull, 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 seagull. I bet he can't do that. I bet he can't make seagull feathers poof out with the powers of his mind. I guess we'll go talk to Turn here. Mm, I'm not sure I want to like abandon the place, you know what I mean? Oh, hey, there's an old man here. Mm. He must be the Q-like feller. Hi, I'm Numi Kovacs. Well, 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 you must be the latest Oi boy. Oi? Oi? Outside intelligence? Oh, I, oi. I like it. Listen, kid, if you want to stand out and be seen as spectacular, it's best that you take to our office vernacular. <laughs> Let me introduce myself. Have Applecott's a name. Equipping agents is my claim to fame. You need gadgetry, you come to me. Forgery, too. I'll make you an honorary degree. They're all rhymes. I love it. Do you have any advice on how I can get some field work? Around here, that's unfortunately Horace's domain. And between you and me, that's a downright shame. He won't use my inventions, says he's found better kinds. But that's only because he pockets everything he finds. If I were in charge, I'd send him on a permanent vacation. But Turn won't do it. I think he fears retaliation. Um... What's the deal with Turn? He seems a little... off. He was once a federal field agent, considered one of the best, but was fired for sending his partner on a self-serving quest. She took most of the flack, was temporarily jailed, and ever since then his career's been derailed. Aww. You'd be cranky too if that happened to you. Yeah. What's with all the rhyming? Most of my work is pretty mundane. Speaking like this keeps me from going insane. He reminds me of the old man from Psychonauts. God, I loved that guy. Could you help me replace Horace in the field? Well, Horace is more a pain than I'd like to admit. Too loose with his lips and totally lacking in wit. But going out on a limb for a perfect stranger? Why, a stunt like that could put my job in danger. I promise to return the favor. And what makes you think you'll be around to repay? Turns fire assistance after only one day. Mm. I'm smart. Practically a genius. Intelligence is something that one has to prove. All right, go ahead and make your first chess move. Hmm. QB8 to QB7. There's a pawn in that spot, you crazy cretin. <laughs> One move in and you're already beaten. Uh. The peanut is neither a pea nor a nut. It's a legume. Intelligence and knowledge aren't one and the same. Just spitting out trivia is both boring and lame. What can I say to impress you today? There's a step in the right direction. Keep bringing the rhymes and you might pass inspection. Oh, I see. Inspection. Feel free to inspect my poetic license, after which we'll be running our mutual covenants. Uh, Confidence? I don't know what that word is. I'll stand here for weeks on end if that's what it takes to call you friend. Good night, good night. Parting so true sorrow. Ah, yeah, that's cheap. My quick witted brain will never die, nor will my elephant like mom o oh, my elephant like memory eye. I'll stand here for weeks on end if that's what it takes to call you friend. You've impressed me thus far, but how long can that last? I'm a visitor from the future, not one from the past. As long as it takes, I'll always outlast. And my knowledge is vast. When you find out the answer, you'll be somewhat aghast. When you find out the answer, you'll be somewhat aghast. Hmm, 
When it comes to Western poetry, you're clearly a beast. Now, how about a form that began in the East? The syllable count of five, oh, I seven, five is a perfect way to keep the brain cells alive. Now, with a haiku, I'll be impressed through and through, and maybe help you. Shut up, you old man. That's four. I'll, that's, let's see. I'll do do what I can. I'll do what I can. It's five seven five. The egg is white. We know we know what you shit. <laughs> I'm yes, I'm using my fingers. We know what you need. So don't to worry your dumb head the early birds say mm. the egg is white pure and unwavering and bright does that make it right that one's close that one's a 475 I'll do what I can, but I can't promise success at seven. Please just be nice to me. Please just be nice to me at six. Shut up, you old man. I've had enough of your games at six. You're making... You're making me feel slightly deranged. That's like 10. So these two, I'll do what I can. That's six. These two are the best. We know what you need, so don't worry your dumb head. The early bird says. The early birds say it's still only four does that make it right the egg is white we <sighs> know what you need so don't worry your dumb head the early birds say there you go your poetic prowess has left me feeling quite odd as a man of my word i'll assist with your fraud this fake id should serve you just fine but if anyone asks the hands that made them were not mine. Will this give me access to the photocopier? Without an official tracker, there's little that card can do. If you want real privileges, you might try a switcheroo. Who's going to be dumb enough to fall for that? Check another floor if you can't find someone nearby. As long as you stay persistent, you're sure to find your guy. Yeah. Thanks, Hab. Nice, I got to use this key card. Do you mind if I take this bottle? Ah, uh, yes. This here is the least practical disappearing ink you'll ever meet. It shows up at room temperature and disappears in the heat. That sounds very useless. Oh, it is. Enjoy. Thank you. Visible invisible ink. Only hides in the hottest rooms possible. <laughs> I like this guy. Well, hit the floor. She's back for more. How do I use the photocopier? I have something I'd like to copy. You'll need a permanent ID if you want that to work. Talk to Thornton over there, but watch out, he's a jerk. Yes, he is. He's the one over there with the fancy disc and the haircut that borders on statuesque. I've got to hey. go, but thanks for your help. If you need anything else, just give me a yelp. God, I love the fact that there's a guy here that talks in rhyme. Oh, I love it. Oh. No, I don't want to do that. Let's go talk to Turner. I don't know what the malleability of my uh, moves are either, like if I can undo things. Four years of espionage school. I've paid my dues. 
Company policy, all outside intelligence employees must have two years experience before accepting missions. No exceptions. Let's go on one of your missions then, a real one, out in the field. I haven't done field work since I was with the government. If you ask me, waste of time. You were a government agent. Like the kind that kill people and blow stuff up? I was, but that was a decade ago, and I don't really like to reminisce. Why? Did you get fired? Where did you hear that? I didn't. I'm just wondering why someone would quit such a cool job to work for a car company. That's really none of your business. A and if I was fired, I wouldn't be able to tell you. I'm pretty sure you'd be able to tell me if you didn't get fired. I shouldn't have even told you that I worked there in the first place. Ah, is that why you got fired? None <laughs> of your business. You got fired. Um. All right. I have to use the bathroom. Thanks for the update. You're welcome. I guess we'll go this way. There's nothing I can interact with over here. Bye! I only got two out of the three. I'm a little disappointed I only got two out of the three, but I don't want to start over because, well, it's not any fun. So I can go to the roof. Can't go anywhere else. What do I have? I have a useless ID and invisible ink. I can't really combine them. Hmm. Locked. Looks like it needs a passcode. Yeah. Not really sure where we go next. Looks like these mail slots connect to the bullpen on the other side. Ah, ah, ah. All inter-agent communication Ooh. must be approved by yours truly. I could put the flyer in there. There we go. What if we do that? Just be like, well. Ah, ah, ah. If you want to send a communique to the bullpen, it'll have to pass my inspection. So here's how we do this. We have to get a pencil or a pen and hide this thing in a communique that he approves. And then we send it through to everybody else. Because just pointing it there is not going to do any good. Anything you want to post on that board will have to go through me See. first. So... That isn't gonna run the the gambit on this. Looks like I'll need a key card to get this thing to right. work. So not there either. I guess we have to burn out our, our conversation bits with this guy until he's like, go do some work. Okay, I can click on that. Oop, there we go. Is there any chance we might be called in to do field work? The only way you would be called in to do field work is if every agent in this office were to become incapacitated. <laughs> so, like if I made them all sick or got them to quit? Something like that? Are you planning something? No, I'm just a very curious person. Why don't you go be curious somewhere else? No. Okay. I have to go see a man about a horse. Yee-haw. Seriously, I need a pencil or the copy... Bye. Later. The copy machine access or something. You know, that would be great. Did I miss one? There's a couple of pencils, but I apparently can't have those. Um... Honk. <laughs> I'm at the point where I'm just like, honk. Okay, well, I'll just... I guess we'll head up to the roof and see what we can do up here. So I can break that. Make it get hot. This douche nozzle's here. 
So how do I get him to leave? This flyer says I need two years experience. You don't have that? Hey, maybe you should be answering turns cards. You're a douche. What are you doing up here? Waiting to deploy on a new mission. It's supposed to bring back a scientist that got kidnapped or something. Oh? Should have left an hour ago. But whoever handled that intel messed up something fierce. Hates to be the dummy who watched that one. Yeah, what an idiot. They told me it was you. Uh, <laughs> uh. Um, there. How come you're not applying for this job? I know certain things about the people here at Penderbrook, but you've afforded me a somewhat privileged situation. What do you know? You heard about how a Turn's partner, the government, wound up getting arrested? Well, let's just say that Turn's version is a bit of a bald-faced man. Hmm. So are you the only agent who gets to work the field? Sometimes when I'm indisposed, Turn will send someone out in my stead. But that only happens once every couple of years. So if you went missing, they might send me? Sure. If I went missing, along with the 50 other folks in this place that outrank you. But that's not going to happen now, is it? Maybe. I don't know. If you're such a big shot, how about you show me the ropes? I don't need to prove myself to you. Or maybe you don't have anything to offer. Okay, here's one. A good spy knows how to get things out of reach. But a great spy knows how to keep things out of reach. Take a look at this jacket. It seems pretty normal, right? I guess. It's ugly. Well, I had every pocket made up of two sleeves. That way no one can pickpocket me without raising the price. I call it the double deck. Might even get a patent for it after I retire. I bet I could pick your pocket without you noticing. All right, hotshot. Give it a go. Is this a mini game? Oh. Click it and take it out. Oh, interesting. Well, I want that. So if we just oop. just do that a little bit. Why do you have your knife open? Do you know how much of a safety hazard that is, dude? Uh, sorry. Oh shit, I got the matches. Excuse me, you need to just move over here. This is a cool ass little mini game right here. I'm inside you. Moving. Your eye tones. Like a timer, I didn't see one. Excuse me. Excuse me. Okay, let's bring you up over there for now. The goal to switch some things around. Like this. Alright, I love this game. Just gonna go ahead and tell you that. a bit of a dick pickle here, but I think we're going to be okay as long as I keep my mouse controls just so. Done. Aw, couldn't even reach it. Maybe some other time. Nice try, Missy. I may not have felt you lifting that car. 
my pocket is definitely feeling a little lighter. I don't know what you're talking about. Hand it over, or I'll go straight to quarantine and tell him you're up to something. Fine, here you go. Another good lesson for you. If you're gonna steal something, make sure you replace it with something else. Can I try picking your pocket again? Have at All right, we're gonna do this one more time, then we're gonna wrap the episode up. Well, there's the fake ID. This guy's an idiot, by the way. This is a bit of a pickle because we really need the knife to be out here without all this detritus. But if we manage the sizes our gaps properly should be able to slide this one out like this hey, by the way he totally monked me by going I could feel oh 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 did not get my angles right on this I could definitely feel that my balance was off. My pocket was slightly lighter than it normally is. Just hug that corner, baby. Yeah. Just don't even take the risk. Whee! This, and this. There we go. Boom. Done it. Oh wow. What's that? Nothing. I just, I just realized that there's no way I'm ever going to be able to steal this thing without you noticing. That's what I've been saying. This double decker is gonna make me a fortune. Yep. Wait a sec. What's wrong? Nothing. Just thought my pocket felt different for a sec, but my card's still in there. I can feel it in the bottom. Alright, well, later, Tater. I mean, you're real good and smart and all, but I'm gonna get off this floor before he goes in and looks at the fact that his ID card has a picture of a skeleton going ding 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 ding. Alright. <laughs> I didn't quit. Looks like I'll need a key card to get this thing to work. Yeah. So if we just be like, Bloop. thank you, Horace Hayes. Okay, I want to use this ink. I want to use that. Not a bad idea, but I really should try calling this number first. Oh. Well then, let's see that. Okay. Honk. I'd like to apply for a job, please. One moment. Ah, e, wampa jumpa chump chump. E, e, chumka chumka chumka. This is Cynthia Bellows. To whom am I speaking? Numi Kovacs. I'm uh, uh, looking for a job, preferably in the field. Kovacs. Kovacs. I don't seem to have anything in my Rolodex on you. Um. That's because I'm a good spy. I know how to cover my tracks. Challenge accepted. Please hold. <laughs> She's gonna go find out I'm new. There we go. 1957 to Sydney and Lucretia Kovacs. 
no professional experience, but graduated top of her class at the Lacare Institute for Exceptional Spies. Excellent at hand-to-hand -hand combat and field-based reconnaissance, but passed over for government service due to an overly accommodating nature. Isn't that a good thing? <laughs> Only if you're in the customer service industry. <laughs> Take it from someone who's been in your shoes. When something doesn't feel right, you need to speak up. I'd still be doing important government work if I had done that with Turn. Oh, that's hers. You know Turn? Know him? We used to be partners. Professionally or romantically? Hmm. Perhaps you do have the makings of a bloodhound. <laughs> but no, our relationship was strictly professional. At least on my end. What do you mean by that? Just be careful how you deal with Turn. He can be a bald-faced liar when his back's against the wall. Good to know. Tell me why you want to work for me. Um. I want to get out in the field. Turn's got me working as a glorified assistant. Glorified? It says here you are an assistant. Ugh. I was hoping you didn't have that. <laughs> Look, I don't envy you. Messing around with people's lives on behalf of a big corporation isn't exactly taking the high road. But if you want to build a name for yourself, you've got to make the most of the path you're already on. And what path is that? I think you know. Yeah. One last thing. Do you happen to know anything about the Docilio group? Hmm. Who are they? Let's just say that if you think that office is holding you back, you'll be floored when you see what they're up to. What are they up to? If you're half the spy you say you are, you'll find out soon enough. Take care, Numi. I'll be in touch when the time is right. I like her. I would like to work for her. I don't want to work for her with them. Let's go ahead and do this. And then we are going to have to prep it up. copies of this flyer should do the trick. I love that sound effects has a thing. Is it broken? Maybe this invisible ink will do the trick. Can I make another hundred copies? Here we go. One hundred top secret invisible job flyers. There we go. That's what we want. And he just took off. So... I can't read those. Um, they're, they're... I can go break the heat. I found this stack of blank paper lying around. I was thinking they might be more useful in the bullpen. Capital idea. I'll send them through that mailbox right away. <laughs> what magic is this? The cool breeze from this air conditioner seems to be printing words right onto these blank sheets. Huh, that's impossible. It appears that Mr. Turner is still trying to test me to see if I'm on my game. Damn. Well, not this time. I'll use these to make a paper mache piñata in his likeness. Then we'll see who has the last laugh. Well, looks like we gotta go back and do that again there, boys. And then go up there and turn the AC off. Because apparently, cold is the heat now. Let's do this again. One more try. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. Let's, let's just let's bounce. <laughs> I didn't realize that the cold was the heat. If you know what I'm saying. Let's go over here and mess with this. Hmm. Have some extra pipies. does a little transfer thing. We're going to want to do that. So we're just going to take this down to here.
put the heat in with the cold right there. Okay, so take this out. Take this out. Put that in. Take, take that out. Come on. No. Now, come on now. You fit in there. Give me that sass. Got me primed right with the sass here. Take that out. Got the heat going up. We gotta watch that. So now the AC is pumping out good old fashioned American heat. And that's what we like to see when we go in and do some quick puzzle sabotage. By the way, I really like that puzzle mechanic. What happened to the AC, buddy? What is it now? I gotta go. Do be a stranger. Alright, yeah. Alright, we're gonna try this. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Penderbrook? Turn wants you to deliver this stack of paper to the bullpen. Do me a favor and kindly toss them in the trash on your way out. He actually told me you'd say that, so it shouldn't be a problem. Wait a minute. If Mr. Turner is trying to toy with me, he wouldn't try the same game twice, would he? I'm not really sure. I kind of just met him. He made a request that these sheets be delivered. If they're tainted like the others, then I'm in my right to withhold them. Absolutely. But if they're not, then I'd be in breach of my duties as office manager. Oh, what a sordid little game you play, Mr. Turner. <laughs> Spartanness. Very well, Miss Kovacs. Tell your supervisor that not only will I deliver this stack of sheets uh -huh. to the bullpen, uh -huh. but I shall make sure that every single agent receives one. Oh, good. Oh, that'll show him. Yeah, it will. Indeed, it shall, Miss Kovacs. Indeed, it shall. <laughs> oh, good job. Later that week. All right, so we are going to save the game. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you I love this game already, regardless of the fact that I can't control the volume of the sound. Don't care. Fantastic game. Great premise. Loving it already. Hope you guys enjoyed it, too. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, suggestions, some in the comment section below. And, of course, if you enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed, consider clicking that good old subscribe button in YouTube and let you know when I get fresh content out. All that being said, I'll see you next time.